Hello everyone and welcome back to Meadow Valley, our vintage series. It's uh, early summer, it's uh, about half past seven in the morning. And uh, the first jobs we want to do today will be to see if our crops need a last fertilization and the cornfield that we planted In the previous episode, we'll also need weeding. Is it our houses? No. Okay, let's go and see if the uh, fields need fertilizer. Uh, Uh, what was the width for this? Can't remember the width for this. It is when we find it. It is six meters. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Six meters. Six foot three. It's saying. Well, you're not getting six foot three. You're getting six. Uh, one headland. Yeah, that'll do us. Yeah, helps if you slip the field number. Hope it wants some. If it goes dark, you'll know it wants it. Yes, it does. It does want it. It's gone dark in colour. Right, off you go. Plenty of fertiliser. Let's get those final applications. I think it's a final application. Let me just go check. Uh, fertilizer. No, that's the second application. Right, they need second application. Yeah. Right, so this is the second application on one, two, three, four fields, and possibly a third application on these fields. Right, so. Next job to do is to go weed the cornfield. We're all wired up and up tough, aren't we? Uh, no, I don't think we are. Or are we? Yeah. Let's have a check, make sure. Yeah. Look, we're good. We're good to go. I've got some herbicide left. What did I do? Uh, some on the trailer somewhere. I think it's over there. Right, I'll go get that and uh, we'll go and weed the cornfield. If I know which one is the cornfield. Herbicide in there. Right, which one was, which one was the cornfield? That was the one up near the sheep, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going the right way. What I was thinking of doing, because we own all the map, oh, I think we own all the map, we could cut some of all this, all this grass that's knocking about. We could cut that and uh, feed that to the sheep and just keep the hay in the garage for the winter. Sounds a better idea actually. Plenty of grass here. We've got lawnmower. Just, we don't need to cut loads. We'll just cut a couple of strips and then maybe bale it or pick it up with a forager. Let's have a look. How's the corn doing? Is it actually growing any? Oh yes it has. That's grown. 
Ooh, look at that. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's get away. let's get the weeding done on here. This is the future pig food. Oh, it will be. And it can all go in the grain silo, and then when we need it, we just grab it out of there in the trailer and we we'll give some pigs up. Isn't it? We ain't got the pigs yet, but we will do when the food's ready. Quite a size field. I didn't think it was that big. Mind you, we've only got small equipment. So that makes it uh, look bigger. Right, big. Oh, we ain't even gone round once yet. Mind you, we did pick this field for the corn because corn is the uh, major food that the pigs take. They have more corn than anything else. Well, oh, didn't, didn't plant there. reason it didn't want to work. Oh, the workers don't need to work on this map. Never mind, we'll do it ourselves. Right. Wow, there's a lot. You see a lot. A little plant, a little sprayer. We go around and slip or something. Well, we keep stopping. Right, I think I'll uh, jump cut this and I'll see you when I'm nearly done. Right, we finished the weeding. We're just returning back to the field. That field's been fertilised. Don Deere's now doing the potatoes. Right, let's put this away. Where did we get it from? Off. So, I don't think we'll be needing it anymore. Here's, here's our supply tractor. Right, let's go dump that over there. And we'll carry on with fertilizer. Uh, I'm going to need some super strength. So 
it off there. And we'll park the trailer up. In fact, now we'll leave the trailer on because we've got to. Let's have a look how the John Deere's getting on. Oh, is that crap there? Loads of water. Right, we'll love you back. Oh, Shiva doing okay? I'll have a check on there. Yeah, they're good. We don't have a bucket, do we? Or do we? Did we have a bucket? Cleaning up the mess of the sheep. Uh, no. Right, so. Okay, I will go by the bucket. It should be in here somewhere. There it is. Shovel. Shovel for the little grey tractor. £120, I can't grumble at that. Oh yeah, while we're here, we're going to buy some pallets of trees. Uh, saplings. No, not them. Saplings. We get 20 trees for £1,000. I don't think we'll just plant 20 trees. Oh, hang on a minute. How many trees have we chopped? in here somewhere trees cut down 17 yeah one pallet of trees will do me nicely i'll buy those oh did we buy <clears throat> a tree planting kit i don't think we did no Right, so we're going to go for the tree planting kit. I don't know if it's in here. Yes, it is. The hand planting of trees. Right, where are we going to put it? Where's our farm? Where's it? Oh, yeah. Uh, over here. Right. Turn the camera around. Where does it go? Oh, no. Can I zoom in? Oh, that's a nice. I oh, know that's where the front door. Just down there, be nice. Hmm. No, not there. Where can we put this? Outside the house. Next to the fence. Turn that around. Which way does it go? That way. Um. That's our tree planting kit. Oh, he's reached his trigger. Right, uh, I won't keep him. I'll set him onto the next field. That's them two done. Number five. What's in number five? That's the sugar beet. Right. Go to them. We've got loads of fertilizer left. Right, let's go off to number five then. Is that done? Which way is the best way to number five? Up by the star, I think. So yeah, we'll get this is second application, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. That's the bit of forest that we're gonna plant. And we're coming up to field five, which is another product that we will be needing for pig food. I think it is, I'm not sure. 
can't remember. <laughs> it says it's 6.3. Every time I go back to it, it goes back to 6.3. To that and we'll go and plant some trees that's a girl she's gonna do that for me yep course play there she goes off she goes right she's cracking on i'm gonna go to the store and which way is the store that way Right, we'll go to the store and then we'll pick up a pallet of trees and the bucket with the little grey Ferguson. That is the, just for sweeping up the mess from the... Um, oh, where are we going that way? I don't know. Does it again? Ooh, that's a bit close. Wow. Right, if we go into this and this and hit that. That's better. Field of view 70, not 60. It looks better. You can see more of the tractor. Much better. You're right over the steering wheel. So we'll go and pick up those trees. Put them in. They take five years to grow. There's no way of accelerating the growth though. Well, we're just about here now. Yep, we are arrived at the stores. Right, so what we've got, we've just got a bomb pallet of trees, which is enough. Right, we're just gonna pop the old pallet of trees. Over there. Pallet of saplings. Give them a strap. Just press that. Where's that little bucket gone? Oh, yeah. Should have got to pick that up. Yep. Pop that on there. Do we have? I don't think we do. Vehicle strap. No, I didn't enable vehicle steps on this one. Right, let's go. I'll try and strap that bucket. I doubt it's going to make any difference. Uh, which way are we going? Back out. We've got to take the uh, trees down to the farm first. Pick up the shovel. That, we're planting them there. That little patch of land is where we took all the trees from. This is second patch of land we're probably going to cut down so we can make more firewood. Yeah, I think 20 will be enough. We've only cut down 17 according to the stats. 17 trees. We've got 20 here. Yeah. The bucket stead on the trailer. If you cut them down, replace them.
grab grab all of that we'll leave it there for now right Oh, just very annoyed we are outside. There's kids playing. Right. We got a pipe up now. Um, how do you do that? I can't remember how you do this. Um, pick up objects. Do you stop them? You don't have to do it. Um, Take equipment. Okay. Remove ten sappers. We can only carry ten at once. We've got the shovel. How do I give you backpack ten for the tree? Grab the equipment. How do I just get the other the other trees in there? Backpack ten storage status. I don't know how to do it. Return the equipment. What the hell? Why do that? I don't know. Why you just leave them there? I think. Yeah, maybe I'll we'll come back and we we'll grab another ten. Right. Got a faster tractor. Or can we take those with us? Well, it's wonder about that actually. Ten of twenty backpack has got ten story status. I think we can take them with us, you know. Seem pointless. Coming back to those. Right. See you at the at the uh, plantation. Right, we are here. We'll call it a plantation. Well, I've got to run out. What's going on? Right, so we're going to start planting some trees. So we have to select the tool we want. It's obviously not that one, it's that one. We'll start planting some trees. So we, you plant by just pressing the mouse button. Digs a little hole, and there's a tree. So we move along, and we're five meters. Five meters will be enough. Five. It tells you when you've got enough room. But I'm going to go five meters. About there. And we'll do another one. About here. Another one. Yeah, about there. There. Oh, okay. Why would let me do that? Because it's too close to the building. Uh, there. 
one more left in the backpack. I oh, know your backpacks, don't they? Alrighty then. I should be able to fill it. Remove the tent off it. Got ten more in my backpack. Right, where did we get to? Just here on it. That's about there. We look at this direction. Go this way. So if we plant twenty, we'll have a, we'll have replaced what we cut down. Yeah, this is a mod. Uh, it's not a, an in-game thing. Let's get one over there. This one's good actually. And that leaves us another six left. On there. These are going to take five years to grow fully. You can cut them down at two years, I think. Maybe too close to another tree or something. Right. That's it. Backpack is now empty. There, there you can see all the trees are in the ground. There's 20 of them in there somewhere. Let them grow. See what happens. The fertilizer is done of sugar beet is now in the oat field, I believe it's an oat field. Uh I think we might That's about it really for today. There's not a lot more to do. Planted the trees, weeded the field, fertilised most of oh, 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 sorry, he needs refueling soon, right, okay, well we can see all that out, we'll do it off screen, go up to the uh, stars and put some more diesel in it. Returning back to the farm. We might start hurrying time along a bit because we just seem to be getting all the jobs done by dinner. trailer so that's 20 trees in the ground and that, they'll, they'll just leave them to it now Oh, 
Right. Let's go check on now uh, John Deere. Yeah, yeah, he's still going. Oh, he's got loads of fertilizer left. Wow, that is a big field. Oats. Yeah, well, it's going to return that, won't we? Let's have a look. Sheep have made a mess. Um, where's the farm? Get where the farm is now. Over in that direction. Thirteen miles per hour. I will fill up this water browser as well before we end. Oh, that camera was sticking. Go put some more water in there. And then when the sheep need it, they've got it already full up. Quite deep that river, you don't want to go too far into it. Ooh, it's going to be a bit of a pull. Only a thousand litres, mind you, it's only 23 horsepower tractor. Right, I'm going to go get that shovel, pick up the mess from the sheep. Where can we park this? I'll put it over here. With the cattle trailer. Lovely. Let me stick these forks near the way we can't lose them. Okay, we'll get the shovel. But I left it up here somewhere. Oh, it's there. It's only 500 litres, it's not a very big one. How are we doing it? We need to go this way. Yeah, that was a tree. Head off. We'll clean the sheep, and I think that'll do. We're pretty much finished for today. Tomorrow we'll probably be fertilising six and I don't know, maybe six can be done today. I'll do it off screen. I can't remember what's in six. Is it canola? Can't remember. We've got corn for the pigs, barley for the pigs. 
Canola, I think it is. You can have canola, soybeans, or sunflowers. That's not better. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do this train editing, didn't I? Forgot about that. Might end with that then. We'll uh, just go tidy up the mess in here. For, uh, Pull that back into there. Oh, hello, sheep. How are the sheep, anyway? Oh, there they're okay. No wool, I'm afraid. Yeah, so the pigs, they require corn as a main, wheat or barley, soybean, canola, and sunflowers. So that gives 50%, and these give 25 each. Then you can get manure and slurry, and obviously with the sheep, you just get wool. But we won't get no wool now till next year. None of them are in lamb. Well, they won't be yet. Weather forecast, uh, okay. Today, tomorrow, and Saturday's okay. Sunday. Hmm. Saturday, Sunday, could do some rain. Uh, what was it? Yes, uh, we're going to landscaping. Let's zoom out. Where's the pig? Yeah, I was going to sort this lot out. Uh, we want to do painting. I want... Look for the grass. There's a grass sub-texture here somewhere. Which one is it? That one? It, it will grow. Just tidy that up a bit. And we'll do that as well. And then what else? Oh yeah, this bit here. Is this where there used to be a like a, a cobbled paving area? Cost a little bit of money. Put the grass in there. It all grows again. Was that it? What was that for then? I don't know. Why was there a, was a little check there? Yeah, okay. Um, I think that's it. Don't need to do anything else to that. Although I'll tell you what we could have. got yes I think we can go brush size and we can go to that oh no that's too light is that one no that's too dark is that one that one do that We've got a, a way in, and uh, yeah, I think we'll have a track to the manure. I think that's it. Pretty much what I want to do. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Don't want to do any more to it. Yeah. 
That looks better. All that grass is put in there now, it doesn't look untidy. That will make that like that. That's better. Just costs a little bit of money. Yeah, that'll do, let's not spoil it. Yeah, there's the sheep and the big enclosure. I haven't got anything in there yet. But all this grass, let's get out of there. Uh, yeah, two times, two times. We've all had two times. That means doing as well. Six is on two times. Any weeds? No, we're pretty good for weeds. No plowing needing, no no liming needing, no growth stages. See all this grass is ready. Do we own all that? We own yeah, we own it all. So we can actually cut grass anywhere on this map which might be a good idea and then just save those hay bales for the winter time when the grass doesn't when the grass doesn't grow uh, that looks a lot better there's loads of grass plenty of it flood the cow then is John Deere near the end or is he like it near the end? What was I going to do? I don't think there's anything else to do today. When do the crops come ready? Let's have a look. No, no one near yet. We could possibly start harvesting. End of the summer. Um, we've got. Oh, let's have a look. What we got? Potatoes are for our profit. Um, we got wheat. We haven't got barley. I thought we'd buy. So it's going to be corn for the pigs and wheat for the pigs. Canola. Yeah, corn, wheat, canola. Oats, potatoes, sugar beet. We will use that for our money. Ah, that's. Do we own the biogas plant? No. I wonder how much the biogas plant is. Where is the biogas plant? Hang on, what's that? Let's have a look. What is that? That is the biogas plant. We do own it. We just don't own that. You can't own that. Let me go to the biogas plant. Let's go visit the biogas plant. Oh, he's reached his trigger point. Hang on, let's go back and sort him out. <sighs> so we've got 60%. Oh, wow, that, that lizard is a really good spreader. Uh, let's go see if six needs any. Because if it does, we may as well get them done today. These are the oats. Absolutely thick and looking nice. Look how thick that look how thick the oats are in that field. It's gonna be a good a good harvest everything. Canola. Let's see if it wants any fertilizer. We'll do a test patch. 
does. Well, in that case, then we'll get it done. Well, if it needs it, give him it. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, damn, there's an island, isn't there? Islands Circle. Off he goes. I think this is his, that's his last application on that field. Oh, let's just turn the grass off. We know it's ready. Click fertilize. Yeah, this is a final application. Let's hope we can get all this fertilizing done before they get too too ready to ready to um harvest yeah what are they on looks like three grow stage three grow stage two yeah definitely so these are all on three that's on two so hopefully maybe tomorrow or the next game day we should be able to get another crop on there another fertilizer so what i was doing before i'm gonna visit the vigos plant in a minute Here, we've got some sheds, we have a pit. I thought, why not call every, if we have any spare time on any particular day, cut some grass, get it in that pit, make some silage, and then sell it to here. In fact, I was thinking, because the sugar beets are just not very profitable, as you can see, price is going down. I mean, sugar beets and potatoes not being very profitable. Oh, we can't take them to the biogas. Oh, that is strange. What about potatoes? No, we can't take them to the biogas. Oh, well, it was a shame. Never mind. Potatoes is doing quite well. What can I take to the biogas then? Slurry, manure, uh, silage, grass and hay. Oh no. That's it. Oh, look at that. Soybeans. Oh, I can't do that then. That's it then. I think we're done today. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. All this grass we've got, we can cut it, put it in the pit, give it to this, and it's ready. It's there, we may as well use it. If we manage to find a little vintage slurry, slurry spreader. We ain't got a slurry spreader, have we not? No, we haven't bought one, have we? I don't think we have a vintage slurry spreader. We have a lot of slurry types. We might be able to find one. I'll have a look on Rod Up. If we can find a vintage slurry spreader, we'll buy one. If we can put digestate on the field. But we don't have any. Uh... No, we don't have any equipment. What can run these? Well, the John Deere could probably run that, but it's a bit modern, isn't it? Right. So yeah, I think we'll have a tidy up as well. Go 
and the back time off of it. It's getting dark. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that video. And if you did, give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, then maybe you'd like to do that. Don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss another episode of the Vinci series. If you haven't already, then check, to, check out the Riverside Farms and the Oakfield Farms series, which is now on YouTube. Um, I think that's about it, really. Gonna be release. We're gonna be starting the survival challenge as well on the Newlands at the end of this month. At the end of September. Just getting the finalisation of what I need, what I need, and stuff. And uh, also got another surprise series coming up. Probably going to release it any day. Probably what another week or so. It is a totally different series. It's going to be not English. It's not in England. So it's not a British map. And uh, yeah. In fact, we're going to be pretty much thousands of miles away from home. It is, uh, oh yes, it, it is on a map called um, the Old, is it the Old Kiwi Farm? It's a map based in New Zealand. I've done quite a lot of research on that to work out what's going to be the best, you know, the suitable equipment to use on there. So we've decided on what all the tractors and so some of the tractors that I'm using are mods um, and I've been doing a bit of research on that particular country New Zealand and how they farm over there and this particular map is based on an area in New Zealand that was actually familiar to the author I presume was he going oh. I presume the author was from New Zealand because he said on the description of the mod map it's this is based on an area where he used to live. So it's, it looks a good map. So we've researched all. What I need to, to get and uh, went onto some websites to look at, you know, like tractors and stuff. Some good websites out there. Um, agricultural sales in New Zealand. I think I know I'm not going to buy a tractor from there, but <laughs> but I went onto some of them websites to see what these farmers are actually selling or buying, and uh, yeah, and it turned out it was quite interesting what I found out. And John Deere, like what this is a John Deere tractor. They use seem to sell a lot of John Deere's on uh, John Deere, Massey Ferguson. Kubota, remember the little Kubota tractor we had in Riverside Farm, the orange one? They used those and uh, what else was it? A tractor, a tractor company called Same or S-A-M-E. They you, seem to use those tractors over there and they also seem to favour, what was that? Uh, Amazon or Amazon. Amazon Implements. Couldn't find a lot of those, but there was one that I did find in particular, and that was the seed drill. So we got that. Uh, the fields are quite big in New Zealand, so you're not messing about with small stuff on that on that series. It's going to be quite big stuff, and our tractors, yeah, our smallest horsepower tractor is 90 horsepower, which is the little same. 
which is going to be the little yard tractor. It's going to be doing the loading and probably some spraying and that. And then we've got a couple of John Deere tractors on their farm. I think one's one's nearly two hundred horsepower, and the other one's nearly two about two sixty horsepower. I think it is, which we've carefully selected. So it should be good. Um, we are running seasons on it. I think we're running seasons on it. Yes. Yeah, we are running seasons on it. But we couldn't find a geo seasons. Uh, we, we couldn't find any geo season packs for New Zealand. And so I decided we go with Western Australia. Is it Western Australia? No, Queensland. If Queensland is in the southeast of Australia, which is really the closest place I could get to, to New Zealand. So we're going to be using the weather patterns experienced by the by the people in southeast Australia, which is near enough. Uh, it's quite quite warm summers in there mild winters and there's a a lot and a, uh, yeah there's a really really good selection of crops we can plant not just the ones you get in main game there's coffee tomatoes carrots onions rye there's loads of different crops. Looking forward to doing all those. Rice. Oh yeah, there's rice. Forgot about that. You can plant rice. It's going to be interesting. And for the combine harvester, we, I found out Case IH was a quite a popular brand in this, in New Zealand. So we've got a Case um, combine. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that and this video and like I said, drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell button, check out the other series. Ooh, now you got that tree. Until next time, take care everyone. Get nearly dark, John Deere's nearly finished. And we'll see you in the next episode of Meadow Valley. Yep. He's cracking on. He's got good lights on the track. Right, anyway, enough of this. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.